All right, so I'm here with Armando again. He has his Model X, and I said, why don't we jump in my Rivian, get his fresh thoughts. We'll walk around the exterior of the Rivian. I'm gonna show him some things that are unique, and we're just gonna do a comparison between the two to give you guys an understanding of the quality and, and how the drivetrain is, yeah. what the fit and finish is like. The cost of it is $91,000, so they're right in line with each other. They should deliver on quality. So let's take a look at it. So first thing, <laughs> of course, He's got to show me this because I was just complaining how my Model X doesn't have a front that is electronically open. Yeah, charging cable here, also right here. Wow, that goes further. Geez. This is a drain plug, so I can put ice in here and drink. There's a lot of space. Yes. I, I, by the way, the Rivian was a contender. Yeah. This one, the R1T. Okay. So I was looking to get a Rivian. I'll tell you why I didn't buy one really yeah. quick is because they weren't available. That's mm -hmm. why I didn't get one. And then the Model X, you know, and all that. But yeah. So. When you say let's compare the two, I think this is actually a great comparison because you I feel that there's owners that might look at these two, yeah. especially myself who has three kids. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. Yeah, there's a lot of room. So all right. There's a lot of room there's in here. a little here. button there, you press, that goes back down. Flexing and with it, that button. Yeah, <laughs> they both have an air suspension. You can see yeah. I'm in low mode right now. Doors do not open themselves, so you will have to pull on this. <laughs> so I'm sorry. You will have to pull on that. Gear tunnel here, press this button. Nice. Releases, and it comes with paint protection film on it. Jeez. So you kind of have that whole area. And as you can see, uh, when you fold down the seat in the middle, you mm. can actually reach into the gear tunnel. Oh, really? Yeah. So you don't have to actually exit the truck right. to access. No, you could reach. That's it. nice. It's, it's interesting if you had like, let's say you're doing a road trip with four people, you could have a cooler here. Right. And people could re be reaching into it and, you know, just random. So things. I am familiar with this. Obviously, yeah. this was a vehicle right. that I was considering. Yeah and this always attracted me. Yep. They hit it out of the park with this design. Yes. Because no other truck has this. No. And I know they offer the kitchen like as an option, <laughs> but I feel like, let's be real, when are you really going to use that? And also, I'd rather just bring a portable like kitchen kind of thing and just throw it in here. Yeah. And then when I'm not using the kitchen, which is gonna be like 99% of the yeah. time, I yeah, can just I have mean, all the space. Yeah, like maybe for a tailgate, right. you're gonna do it. But they advertise it as like, you're gonna be in the middle. No, you're not. No, you're no, gonna be at the no. fairground, you're gonna be at an NFL game, you're not yeah. gonna be yeah. anywhere this else. This is better. Yeah, this yeah. is, I love this. Yeah. And it, for me, I play golf, so I don't wanna put my clubs in the back. No. I don't wanna take up space here. Gotcha. The golf hole. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's nice. Rear in the back here. Nice. Do not have the full spare or anything, but it just gives me more space. There's also a drain plug in here. Very cool. So you have a ton of space there. So you can still use this as a cooler. I could. So is this automatic? Uh, or do you just have to down. You gotcha. have to, yeah, you have to lift it up. So. Peasants. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, at least you can say, at least I have a front. That yeah, opens. at least my front opens up. <laughs> I can tell you right now, right off the bat. Yeah. Just looking at the fit and finish. Yeah. This looks way more, I'm not going to say nicer, just like the fit and finish just feels more premium. Yeah. Way more premium than like a Tesla. Yeah. And I, um, and I also like this color is called limestone. I wish Tesla offered a yeah. better palette. Like you'd almost swear that Rivian's been making trucks for decades because yeah. of the way the, the fit and finish and just the quality that this you know truck has. Yeah, no, it, it is incredible. Let's yeah. take it for a drive nice. so that way he can I've give never us, driven one. Yeah, he's never driven one, so he can give us like his real feedback on it. I think that'll be the best way to do it. Obviously, much different than the, the yes. X. I see that. I like that it has things that you would probably use all the time, mm -hmm. like the regen brake, the stability, and I'm assuming this is suspension going up and down. Yeah, so Neil is a setting to when you're getting in and out of the car, it lowers to the lowest setting. Nice. That way you're not jumping out. Gotcha. So that's something you can set. The other thing I know, I when I picked it up, I asked them, you know, in a Tesla, like, where's the home screen? Our right. home screen is we got this here and we got the map. There's no home screen in this. Gotcha. Which is interesting, but also good because like you said, mm -hmm. we can access this. If I want to go higher, lower, different drive mode, it's immediately there. I do like that because in the Tesla, you have to go into another menu to go into the suspension where here you're driving. You know what? I want a little bit more sport or I'll, there's rocks. I need to, you know, you yeah. don't have to go hold on, which I end up having to do all the time. Yeah. So if I tap on the brake, nothing happens. So I yep. just tap on the brake and it's just like Tesla. Single tap is dynamic cruise. Right. Double tap gets you into their auto, their, you know, whatever it's called. Gotcha. Okay. Right now we're just in the normal uh, all-purpose drive mode. It's funny because I've yeah. never driven an electric truck. This feels very smooth for a truck, but also it doesn't feel as big too and chunky. 
which I do feel like when you have a truck, it does feel like, you, whoa, the region's a little harsh. It, yes, so we're, oh, and that's on standard. It, wow. it has another level that- It's even- It's a, even more, yeah. Gee. Yeah. If you're not prepared, you're like, no, oh, I know. It's a, yeah. why are you slamming on the brakes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't feel super wide. Okay. Like if you're driving a Raptor, I've driven a Raptor, you know? Yes. Obviously a Raptor's a little It bit is bigger, too. yeah. So I've always been a fan of being higher up on the road, like being able to see everything. I love having visibility, I think is, yes. is, is nice. Yeah, no, the visibility in this thing is, is excellent. Heated seats, cooled seats, you have that. Finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This does have its own proprietary charging network. However, it's obviously not near, not even right. remotely close to what Tesla's is, but with the Magic Dock, Gotcha. We will have access to the Tesla network yeah, part of it soon. That's going to be nice. So I'll put it in the performance mode. The fit and finish feels, again, very premium. It, it translates from the outside into the interior. Even when you, like sitting on, on these seats and yeah. you could tell like this, this truck is expensive. Yes. You know, where like, I think the Model X where it makes up is all the, like the gadgets and some people might even call it party tricks, you yes. know? Although you get used to those, party tricks like for example when you get in and step on the brake the door closes like it was funny because when I got in this truck I was like why isn't the door shut yeah, you get used to those things I think that's where Tesla is known for giving you all the tech and the gadgets where this is more I would just say traditional yes you know? yeah I, I agree it's much less intimidating to get in this right you just kind of get in and go but I also think that they did a nice job doing what I think Tesla does best in terms of getting it foot on the brake, no start stop button, Right. put it in gear, double, like the intuitive things that Tesla does, I think they did a nice job implementing some of those while going totally with their own thing with the off road and you know, right. all that stuff. And it's, it goes zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Okay, it's not a plaid. No. You definitely feel the weight on this though. Yeah. You definitely feel the weight. Like right now, if I wanted to see, I'm, I'm smashing on it where I feel like the plaid would have already would just, have been. Right. I mean, one thing I do want to test out, can we put this in like a comfort mode? Okay, so we'll go all purpose. Mm -hmm. We'll go to ride height standard and the ride feel is soft. Just by you doing that right now, I could tell the difference. You feel it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just the travel in the, yeah. it has yep. more room. Like you could tell it was more travel. Yeah. I mean like less travel, sorry. Now you could tell it's smoother. Yeah, and this also has 22 inch wheels, but there's a lot more tire wrapped around right. it compared to yours. It can go at lower speeds. We can get it into high and highest. Gotcha. So the truck, I mean, it lifts way up, but you can only go up to 20 miles an hour with that. Gotcha, so, so mini really off-roading. Yeah, kind of thing. yeah. I do notice these seats feel a little hard. I'm happy you said that. Um, almost to the point where I've only been sitting here for five minutes and it's starting to annoy me. I can only imagine two hour, three, four, or five hour for me driving home would be a five hour trip. Yep. They're very hard. Like you could feel like, uh, I don't know. So that's, and I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to like throw off your <laughs> no, you know, no, no, just, opinion. So I agree that when you look at them, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, these are beautiful. Right. And they are beautiful, but you're sitting in them. Right. And they are a little bit firm. I agree. The Model X has a softer, more plush seat. Yeah, this is not comfortable. I was going to ask you some, my segue to my next question was, mm -hmm. is there a way to soften the firmness of these seats or this is it? That's kind of it. I mean, you can adjust lumbar support and all of that gotcha. stuff, but that's not going to soften it. It's just, it is what it is. Oh, there's another Rivian. Oh, there, yeah, there's the R1S. I see a lot wave. of Rivians here. <laughs> I always wave. <laughs> <laughs> and they waved back. They did. She was like, uh, should I leave it? I, I hope wave. she doesn't think I'm going to stalk her because I have yeah. to U-turn. You're U-turn. <laughs> Things I'm like chasing. Her. Oh, God. <laughs> so I get to test out the turning radius here. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Because um, I mean, it's not the, the sharpest U-turn, but but it's. I would say it's a normal I'd size. Nor yeah, it should be able to handle yeah. this. Okay, another thing I noticed, Okay. and this could just be a plaid versus any electric vehicle, yeah. is the plaid, as soon as I barely touch the, the accelerator, it's like peppy, right? This one, there's more like mush. Yes. But that could just be, I haven't driven a non-plaid in a while, so, so you get used I, to it. I agree that there's travel. Right. So I know when I'm when I have to be precise in my garage, because right. it barely fits, I hit it, I'm pressing it down, and it's not doing anything. Right. So there is a little bit of travel, and that's where I think, again, the drivetrain of a Tesla has been so well developed over right. the years, they're not quite there yet. With that in mind, the fact that this is their first vehicle right. is insane to me. But yeah, I agree. It's not as precise. 
So the seats are yes. very uncomfortable. I mean, I, it's not like I'm trying to sell anybody vehicles. Yeah, we don't this is your channel. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, for me, immediately, these seats are a deal breaker. Really? Yeah, I, I, I'll tell you right now, this is off my radar. Okay. These seats are super uncomfortable. Like, That's good. I, I do not like them. That's good yeah. to know. Yeah, yeah. because th when you do test drives, you become mm -hmm. enamored with, oh, yeah. look at the roof. Oh, look right. at the seats. So look right. at this. And you're not thinking about what you're actually gonna be spending time in. So that's good you bring that up. Now, will it turn automatically or no? Go ahead and hit, the, I think it will. All right, no. so, but you can turn lanes and I think it stays engaged. It will re-engage where Tesla won't if you're just an autopilot. Gotcha. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, yeah so got there we go. Okay. So that's, that's a nice that's feature nice. as far as it coming with that. Cause again, I don't have full self-driving, right. but autopilot, even on Ford Blue Cruise and everything, right. it will re-engage, and I think that's a smart feature. I like that this has that as well. Yeah, it's just, it's sad because this this truck is really nice. I it's really cool. like it. Yeah, it's such a cool truck. Yeah, and I don't even like trucks. Me neither. <laughs> so that's a, yeah. a testament to what they did. Right, right. I don't like trucks, but this is one of the first trucks that caught my attention. Yep. But the seats, and it's funny because my neighbor he bought a Macan, mm -hmm. a GTS. Funny, I oh, say nice. you know, which which you. Uh, yeah. But here's the thing. He bought it and a week later, he ended up losing like eight grand because oh. he returned it. We'll tell you why. The seats. Oh, yeah. He's they, like, he they're hated stiff. them. They're very stiff. And I don't think people realize that when you're sitting, I mean, you're going to be sitting in your vehicle. Traffic, tra road right. trips. It, I think seats are so important. And I got to say, Tesla has nailed it. Even the Model Y, it feels like you're in a lazy boy. Yeah. It's so comfortable. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy you brought that up. To everyone that's looking to buy these, Try it for yourself. Yeah, of course. You know, we're all different, you know, mm -hmm. by, but I agree that the, the seats are not as comfortable as they appear to be. Yeah. So it's just something to consider. I right. do like vents yep. right here. That's nice. I yes. wish Tesla would do that. So to aim them, if the air was on, you just do this. Oh, nice. So similar it to Tesla. Has right. that similar thing, but I agree seeing a vent. Is, no, this is, is nice. Is really nice. Oh, you don't, you can, I see. You don't mess with it. You yeah. do it here. Yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Regen is not as refined. No. Yeah. It's a, yeah, In fact, I had to stop right now because I'm like, why isn't it? Yeah, th that's what I was saying. The, the drivetrain is a difference to me. Oh, also, this doesn't have a little ping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to tell you to tell to, you the light yeah. change. So it's interesting because for me, this vehicle is so refined, mm -hmm. but where Tesla gets it is in the little things and the little things that count and yeah. matter for day to day driving. And I think, like, if you're looking for that refinement, Tesla is the way to go. They may not have the packaging correctly in the sense of like, you know, panel gaps and stuff, yeah. but like where this is more like, okay, they, they got it right. But Tesla's software and hardware, the way it works, yeah, it's just so much better. Yeah, it, it really is cohesive. You know, I think the Rivian app is fine, but mm -hmm. this doesn't have the cameras all around the car. Right. It's like Tesla in a way, I know I'm just gonna get ripped because I'm a <laughs> Tesla fan. I'm just telling you guys, like you're spending all this money. I'm trying to give you a fair. He made me, oh, here, hold this, hold this yeah. real good. He made me wear this shirt, look. Yeah. I had to hide it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I did force you to wear that shirt. I said, Actually, I'll put this I said, on. what are you wearing? <laughs> put this on. Yeah, it's just, they've invented things for you to care about such as sentry mode. Right. Being able to remotely look at my car. Yeah. If I'm across the world, I can check on my garage. Yep. That's a big value. You end up relying on this stuff. Even your dog, you can put it in dog mode. Right. Which sure. they, don't, they have this too though, right? Yeah, they, they do. Have... They do have dog mode. I just don't think you, there's no interior camera. I can check on them. Make sure Mick's doing okay. <laughs> okay, so after driving this, you were considering this. Are you are you happy that you stuck with the X? I'm happy that I drove this yeah. because of the seats. Yeah. I mean, this has a lot of, I'm obviously I'm not reviewing the vehicle going no. through everything, but the, the little bit that I drove, the seats is for me, again, like, like you said, you should drive it yourself. Everybody's different, just like AirPods. I love AirPods and I know people, yeah. they're like, it don't fit my ear. Yeah, right yeah. Now. Everybody's different. To me, Tesla seats, I've never heard anybody say, Personally, I'm sure there's somebody out yeah, there. Yeah, there's always say, someone. Oh, Tesla seats yeah. are uncomfortable. Yeah. But I, as far as people that have been with me and mm -hmm. have been in the car, never heard anybody say, gosh, these seats are uncomfortable. If anything, they've said the latter. Oh, gosh, these seats are super comfortable. Yes. You know? These are very hard. Yep. I don't know if Rivian down the line is going to offer like different options. Material. Maybe they'll change the material. Right. Yeah. But yeah, that, that to me is a deal breaker. Well, that's, that's actually good because now that 
Now this will not be floating in the back of your head. Right. Maybe you should have gotten that Rivian. Yeah, now you know. The regen and the acceleration on this particular model, I see like, it's just like. Yeah, and here, I'll put it in to max regen because you're just on normal. So if I go to high regen. Oh gosh. <laughs> Does that feel better? You know, maybe it's just because I, that, the other thing too, and, and, and I'm just saying this because I may be biased in the sense that I've owned Tesla for such a long time that yeah. I'm just used to and familiar with the vehicle. Yeah. But I also feel that when I went from my Y to the X, yeah. it was almost like a similar experience where this just feels very foreign and I'm not a fan of it dude mm. I'm being honest yeah I like the I like the truck yeah I think it's awesome it's truck cool. yeah it's got a lot of cool things I think if you're looking for a truck this is a, a seems like a solid option yeah if you can get past the seats I think you should definitely if anybody's looking for the, to buy this truck definitely test Try drive the seats yeah out. yeah yeah that's an interesting point and I, I wouldn't even know enough. I feel like when I've driven like the F-150 Lightning, the seats were just like a couch. Really yeah. nice, you know? Like well, you Ford's just been jump making up in them. Yeah, I've been making for over 100 years. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with my choice. Good to though. know, good to know. I am curious though, and you've been it, in it, is the Cybertruck. Yeah. That's, How this compares to the Cybertruck. Seats truck. are so soft. That, um, that thing is amazing. Because the, the Cybertruck is one that, I feel is going to be the real competition to the to the R1 team. Yeah, no, that's I'm going to be doing a comparison of that because my buddy has one like an early reservation. Right. So we should be getting it soon. Now, if you guys want to see the video we did on Armando's Model X to see if it's worth it in 2024, click this video right here. That will be very helpful to you. We kind of go into the upgrades that he's done, why he bought it, what it costs, and everything. You'll really enjoy that video.